Hello, my name is Giulio Motta, and I'm the founder of Zenzero Electronics. I'm talking to you from Tokyo, where it's still raining. This is a follow-up video to my previous one where I discussed different kinds of op amps. This time we're going to try out how different op amps sound for real inside a red crown. For our test, we are going to use this guitar my Jagmaster with a single TV Jones pickup and no tone controls. We will also be using in our test this Red Crown prototype. It's pretty close to the final product, but he has a prototype PCB and he has a few botches and he has a socket which we will use to exchange four different kinds of op amps. The op amps for this test will be these four bad boys, an LF353, which is the one that comes with a pedal, a TL072, a TLLE2022, and the last one, an LM1458, yes, which I don't remember. First, I will not show which op-amp is which, but I will reveal that later in the video. <laughs> So this is it. I hope you enjoy this comparison of different op amps. As I said, sometimes the differences are pretty small, but I could definitely hear something different. Uh, now we reveal what uh, the op amps were. The first op amp was the LM1458. The second op amp was the TLE2022. The third op amp was the TL072. And the fourth of pound was the LF-353. Now, you can draw your own conclusions. My thought are that the TL-072 sounds really distinctive. He has a certain throatiness to the sound, to the distortion it produces, and it sounds really good. On the other side, the LF-353 sounded pretty much as good, just not as throaty, a bit rounder, and it just adds this special thing. In this particular pedal, it just reminds me of all the good things from the 80s. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But then we have the TLE2022, 
And that on the other side sounded really metallic. Yeah, that certain clanginess to the attacks in the chugs and uh, just not as good in this particular pedal. I will definitely consider again if I ever build like something like a metal zone nasty knockoff. The TLE 2022 venue will be my first choice in that case. My first of PAMP was the LM1458, which was okay, nothing special. I think I probably excluded it early on in uh, the selection of the PAMP for this particular pedal because it, it probably failed some of the other tests. I ran this open through. Uh, for example, a test that's really telling by it's hard to show on uh, YouTube for a problem of consistencies is uh, uh, raising the pedal gain to the maximum, then lowering the guitar volume to the point of breakup, and then hitting the strings of the guitar really hard, and then listening for the decay of the distortion. I'm thinking the LM1458 failed that test early on, so I excluded that, while the, I'm pretty sure the LF353 sounded great. And that's also why you ended up in the final pedal. I hope you enjoyed this comparison. If uh, you liked it, put a thumb up. If people like it, I will post more electronics related uh, and pedal related geekiness on YouTube. Thanks a lot and bye bye.